Pregame.com. Back here on Pregame.tv, I'm Brady Cannon alongside VR, the Vegas runner. Steve Fezzik not with us this evening. He was in here on Tuesday. You can find those up on Pregame.com. Check his videos out for this week. We've got a couple more NFL games to touch on. Vegas runner is going to take a look at the Houston Texans. Just recently fired their coach, Gary Kubiak. They're going to be in Indianapolis to take on the Colts. How about those Texans? 11 straight losses. And hopefully that video is down from before the season because I gave out Houston over season wins. <laughs> um, so I was a little bit surprised. Well, you're Probably not the is, only one. Yeah, man. exactly. There's a lot I, of people that are predicting them to win the Super Bowl. Exactly. Yeah. I, I think the owner, uh, Bob McNair, was as shocked as I was at how this team's played. But I like what he did. He didn't wait until the end of the season yeah. to clean house. He said, We lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Twice. Yeah, in three weeks. And we did it the second time on prime time with absolutely no effort at all until they, they, they played a little bit in the second half. And he said, you're out. Mm -hmm. And you look at Indianapolis on the flip side, eight and five right now. They've been trending downwards, yes. even ATS. And Houston, I really think you're going to get their biggest effort. I know we've been waiting for it all season, but all of a sudden you have Wade Phillips stepping in as interim head coach, he's made it no secret he wants the head coaching job. If you know one thing about Houston, it's that they have an excellent defense. So I give that credit to Wade Phillips. Right. He gets his team fired up. They give effort for him. So I really think these players are going to show up for Wade. If they would have gotten someone else in there that I don't know how the players would react, right. I'd say I, got, I need to take a wait-and-see approach. Yeah. But I already know this team plays hard for Wade Phillips. Even this year, defensively, their stats are off the charts. Right. It's the offense that, that the wheels fell off. Remember in the beginning of the season with the quarterback situation? Well, with all the turnovers. Exactly. And it's only been in the last couple, maybe three weeks, that their defense has fallen from the number one spot down to, like, number three. But they were number one defense in the NFL for the longest time, even when they were losing six, seven, eight games in a row. Exactly. They allow only 5.3 yards per play, 6.3 yards per completion, and again, you have an Indianapolis Colts team. I'm telling you now, if you go and you read all the newspaper clippings in Indianapolis, if you read all the bloggers, all the interviews, they're going to be saying all the right things coming out of that Colts locker room. I don't even have to read it. It's only Wednesday, so it's probably not out. But I guarantee you by Saturday, all the quotes are going to be, we're still going to play hard. There's still a lot to prove. Sure. We want momentum going into the playoffs. They're playing for nothing right now. They got that locked up. For them, the second season starts when the playoffs begin. It's about getting healthy right now for the Colts. It's not about going out there and crushing teams. Trust me on that one. They're going to say all the right things, but I don't think it's going to transpire out there on the field. I like the Houstons. I made, I made the Texans. I made my line three and a half. I'm getting upwards of six. To me, that's value. I got the team. I think that the situation sets up nicely. And the line value there, that's a perfect storm for a live underdog. Sprinkle some money on that money line, I think. Well, you mentioned a live underdog, and we've seen this trend with the Texans before. Uh, Gary Kubiak, Wade Phillips, you name it. This team has been very good in the underdog role when they have a losing record. They tend to play to the level of their competition. Uh, in fact, 11-2 and two against the spread as an underdog with a losing record. And here they are in that situation again. Let's go ahead and make this one official, VR. If you bet Houston this year, you've made absolutely no money at all. They're 3-10 and 10 against the spread and 2-11 and 11 straight up. And I know a lot of sharp bettors, wise guys, have bet Houston along the way thinking this team, there's line value now, and you look at it on paper, they're a very talented ball club. They have the players. It just didn't work out that way. But now they made a big move by getting rid of K Gary Kubiak with all his Super Bowl rings and putting Wade Phillips as the interim coach. I think that was the best move this team could make before the end of the season for betters in my world where I got to lay 11 to win 10, and that's all that matters. I think they're getting way too many points here, and I expect an extremely motivated Houston team that's already showed us for the last few years that they play hard for Coach Wade Phillips. Expect them to play hard on Sunday against a Colts team that has absolutely nothing to play for. Take Texans plus the six. Take the Texans on the money line, tease the Texans up past that key number of 7 and 10, and uh, I think you're, you're going to cash some tickets.
the only fly in the ointment here. Andrew Luck, a perfect 9-0 and off a loss for the Colts. But uh, like you say, I don't think he's got that focus coming into this game. He's going to look to get into a rhythm, get healthy. He's been on a downward trend. They've lost in the stats the last three games in a row. This Colts team has got to find that rhythm again and get ready for the playoffs. I don't think the Texans are their focus this week. Me neither. I think this is going to be one of those close games. I wouldn't be surprised if a field goal wins it at the end. Yeah. Yeah, division matchup exactly. typically happens that way. We've got one more to discuss. We're going to come back and talk about the Arizona Cardinals and the Tennessee Titans. VR is on the stage with a free pick once again. Stay with us. It's pregame.tv.